Hello there. Welcome to this space where mental health is our first priority. My name is Edith Wanyonyi and in today's video, I'll be sharing the common signs of mental illnesses. Before I start, I'd like to put a disclaimer that in case you experience these symptoms, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have a mental illness because most people experience mental health problems from time to time. But if these symptoms affect your daily functioning, then it means that there is a problem and uh, you, you could consider seeking professional help from a mental health practitioner. So what is mental illness? The Diagnostic Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, DSM-5, um, defines mental illness as an illness that affects the thinking, the feeling, and the behavior of a person. Uh, therefore, when the thinking, the feeling, and the behavior of a person is affected, and it, it interferes with the daily functioning of a person, then we could say that a person has a mental illness. So these are the common signs of mental illnesses. Number one, excessive worry, fear, and guilt, especially when you cannot exactly pinpoint where it's coming from. Number two, a prolonged period of sadness, and especially if it extends to over two weeks, uh, could show that there is a sign of a mental illness. Uh, number three, uh, when uh, you self-isolate yourself, um, from friends, uh, from social gatherings, and you no longer feel uh, interested in activities that used to interest you before. Number four, uh, when you have a rapid shift in emotions, uh, one minute you are happy and the other minute you are you're sad. Uh, this is a sign of a mental illness. Number five, when you cannot deal with uh, normal life situations. Uh, uh, especially if, if they are just normal situations and you find it very difficult to deal with them, that it means that uh, there's a problem and you need to seek help. Number five, when you're easily angered, easily provoked, easily agitated, uh, you would consider seeking help. Seven, uh, hallucinations and delusions. A hallucination is a false perception while delusion is a false belief about something. A hallucination is whereby you will experience maybe voices and, 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 and seeing things that other people are not seeing. And delusion is where you believe that something is, is, is what you believe it is, even when other people do not uh, believe in it, but you believe in it, that it, it's a delusion. And it could be a, a sign of a mental illness. Uh, number eight, if you have, um, if, if you experience insomnia and, 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 and hypersomnia, that is uh, when you sleep excessively and when you have, when you lack sleep, we could say that uh, there is a problem uh, with your mental health and you need to seek, uh, you need to seek uh, help from a professional counselor or from, from, from a mental health practitioner. Eight, when you, you realize that there's a problem with alcohol and drug abuse. Uh, most people who use uh, alcohol and abuse drugs uh, use it as a defense mechanism just to run away from their problems. But the actual problem is they're dealing with something that is just beyond that. Um, number nine, when someone has um, suicidal ideations, suicidal ideations, uh, and, and, and people are thinking of harming themselves and thinking of taking away their lives. It's a sign of a, of a mental illness and, and it's very important that they seek professional help.